What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and help you guys better understand the price action of AMC. I'm also going to be talking about the MOAS, whether AMC is about to squeeze, is this the dip before the rip, and what on earth is the price action of AMC showing, as many people have been comparing it to other pieces of data. Now, before I get into any more, you know, data, before I talk about what's going on with AMC share price, I do have to mention a couple of very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free Neo share. So if you want this opportunity, check out the offer down below. With that out of the way, though, Let's get on with the video. So AMC is currently down over 4%. It is taking a big hit. However, guys, this is just the result of manipulation and AMC dropping with the overall market because the entire market is taking a big hit. Now, the market is taking this big hit because of many factors, such as what's going on in Ukraine and the potential food crisis across Europe and perhaps the rest of the world. It also has to do with the uncertainty in the current market and what's going on with Jerome Powell. But people are talking about something very important. That is the fact that Jerome Powell on Wednesday, he is going to be announcing most likely what's going to be happening with their new monetary policies and to what degree interest rates are going to be hiked at. So one of the issues I do see is I don't know if this guy even has the guts to raise interest rates to that, you know, crazy extent if he did do that that would be good for amc but i do see maybe a 25 basis point hike seen being the most probable outcome because he doesn't want to raise rates that hard so as a result that is going to help amc at least a little bit but it's not going to be the biggest catalyst out there i do think it's going to lead to lots of certainty right lots of certainty which is going to be good for the market and the market should have a bounce after that perhaps on thursday or friday now for the future and I want to talk about what's happening to AMC because this thing's been dropping pretty darn hard. I'm sure you guys noticed that. But many people are comparing this to many you know, other moments that AMC had when it dipped really hard before some kind of big run came. So let's actually go a little bit back, way back in time. So if you go back right here, you have to remember something. Before AMC ran up in January, all the way up to $20 a share sure you guys remember that I, actually january is like way back here but all the way back in january remember we ran up to 20 before we got there there was this big dip down to two dollars so many people are comparing this to you know amc having that big dip before we see that massive big rally but when it comes to this rally i want to talk about what people are talking about so right here on reddit someone talked about the fact that now or right now where they were in the beginning of 2021 like i said amc went from two dollars up to 13 to about 20 then after that we saw this thing drop really hard again before it ran all the way up to almost $80 a share in the after hours. It was 77 in the after hours and 72. So now they're talking about the fact that the next run up is probably not going to be an 8x run up like last year. We're probably going to run between $1,000, $2,000, and $10,000 a share in entering the MOAS. So many people believe that the next run up is going to be the MOAS. And Although I can promise that, I want to actually talk about this right here. So people are talking about the fact that AMC is looking exactly like what happened to GME. Shorted from $2 all the way up to 70 plus, all the way back down to the price the ticker symbol displays daily. Almost 25% of the float is borrowed. Over 20% of the float is being shown shorted. Personally, I believe it's way more you know, reasoning to, for the volume being 1 plus billion in 2021. Anyways, I'll stick to these numbers that they show us. Ortex has displayed 100% utilization for shares borrowed for weeks, although the cost to borrow is not increasing dramatically like it should be. And if that were the case, it makes me suggest that Ortex is not that credible. But if we're seeing that, how long could the hedge funds really keep this up, right? What they could be doing is recalling borrowed shares slowly while another one is lending some out so a short seller is possibly borrowing shares daily fighting the buying pressure and then returning the excess shares at the end of the day now let's talk about the ftds or i'm sorry the fed raising rates interest rates increasing and adding pressure to banks hedge funds mortgage loans 
everything like that, right? They're going to start going up. So maybe I'm full of, you know, but look it up for yourself. Don't trust the most random person on the internet. They're talking about the fact that the market is going crazy. It's in a very, very bad position. And we're going to see a big burst. We're already seeing it start. Remember, we were talking about a potential big, big recession all this time. We're seeing other people talking about the fact that, look, many people actually went to cash. They sold their shares well before, not AMC, but like all their other shares. There are many other YouTubers that talked about that because they did foresee a big recession coming, a big drop. And we've seen this and we're still seeing it. So what I believe is going to happen, and this is what I think, I think other pieces of data were suggesting that uh, lots of margin for these massive hedge funds and they're not reporting everything the way they should have been in the past so looking at what the apes are doing the large majority of apes are not selling they're buying and holding so as long as this keeps up and you can see the data right here as long as we keep buying and holding eventually margin calls will come as the market gets into a very uncertain situation so it's still looking good for us. Be patient. And if this is the trigger for the MOAS, I do believe that this range is correct, maybe even higher. AMC may be squeezing to one, two, ten, maybe even twenty plus thousand a share, maybe even a hundred thousand, but I find that less likely. But you get my point, guys. This thing has insane potential still. And like I said in previous videos, all these shares have to be bought back. As long as the share price does not go to zero, we are going to be fine. And it's still looking very good. Anyways, that's what I have for this video. I want to thank you all for listening. And I actually want to say one last thing. And that is looking at AMC. Yes, I don't want you guys to expect the MOAS to happen overnight. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. But remember what the majority of apes are doing right now. They're not selling. They're not giving up. The large majority of apes are simply buying and holding. Almost all apes are doing that. So I want you guys to think about what's going to happen if this thing really does start to rip. Think about that. Eventually, we're going to get there. I know it's down right now. I know we've seen this for so long. Sure. But this is still a very good buying opportunity. And on top of that, what's going to happen when it starts soaring? It's a slingshot. This is the way the market is performing. It's a slingshot because they, they pulled AMC all the way back. They may be getting ready to cover at a low price. Maybe. But even if they don't start covering at that moment, they may they will have to once they're forced to do that. And given the current market conditions, them being forced is more and more probable. So they pulled AMC all the way back when the market recovers, or if the market, even if the market crashes, right? Eventually this thing is gonna slingshot all the way back. And it'll keep going and going and going when FOMO comes, when shorts cover. It's, it's going to be crazy, guys. So you know the drill. You know apes aren't selling and we are not quitting. That's what I have for this one. So I want to thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.